They say a man never really knows himself. Until his freedom's been taken away. I wonder... How well do you know yourself? ready yet. Your forces are prepared and awaiting your orders, Commander. Uploading tactical data now. Good. About time we kick this revolution into overdrive.
most wanted man in the sector. You ain't that hard to find. I had to see it for myself. Little Jimmy Rayner, the people's hero. <laughs> Tychus Finley. <laughs> nice suit. Pays to be prepared. I heard they put you on ice. Live sentence. What? To give you time off for good behavior? That's right, old buddy. I'm a model citizen now. <laughs> so to what do I owe the pleasure? Just a friendly business proposition. Do you even know what the Dominion are doing out here? I'm guessing you're about to tell me. Digging up alien artifacts, old buddy. Your boy Minsk has gone crazy for him. But I got a contact that'll pay top dollar for every artifact we liberate from the Dominion. I guess I can hardly pass that up now, can I, Tychus? Partners, then. 60-40. 70-30. My way. Feels like old times already. Old times. Damn, Jimmy. You've been holding out on me. Cutting it pretty close there, Matt. Never left you hanging before, sir. Fair enough. Just get us the hell out of here. All batteries, concentrate forward firepower. Spin up drives two and six. All hands brace for warp jump on my mark. Mark. seen the Zerg in years. Why attack Marsara now? It's not just Marsara. You need to see this. Zerg swarm launched a full-scale attack. Devastation spread throughout all outer rim plots. Sustained heavy losses. Casualties in the billions. Minutes ago, the Zerg attacked a Dominion military research facility. Footage confirms the Queen of Blades is in fact leading the swarm. We always knew she'd be back, but what's she after? She's come to finish the job. That's funny, Convict. I don't recall giving you access to our database. Just keeping up on current events, Captain. Seems this Queen of Blades got everybody running scared. <laughs> she don't look so tough. 
You have no idea who she is, do you, Tychus? Don't matter to me, none. Well, it matters to Jim. They were close once. Wait a minute. <laughs> You're telling me they were shacked up? Apparently she was something else before the Zerg took her and turned her into that. And Jimmy feels responsible. Honestly, if we have to face her again, I don't know what he'll do. Woman like that, there's only one thing to do. This is goodbye, Doc. Well, you've got a lot of cleaning up to do out there. We'll manage somehow. I just hope you boys stay out of trouble. Those Protoss are bound to be upset. Well, me and the Protoss go way back. I've helped them out a few times. Figure they might cut me some slack. You know... You could always stay here, settle down, make a new start. <laughs> Guys like me don't get second chances, darling. We just gotta finish what we've begun. You're a good man, Jim Rayner. Good.
Zeratul. I have pierced the veil of the future and beheld only oblivion. Yet one spark of hope remains. You will hold her life in your hands. And though justice demands that she die for her crimes, only she can save us. Wait a second. You're talking about Kerrigan. It's been four years. You show up out of nowhere. Time is oh. short. You must understand. The answers you seek lie within. Study it well. The fate of creation hangs in the balance. Nice to see you too. Fifty years, and no one's ever escaped from New Folsom. But we broke it open in an afternoon. I can hardly believe we pulled it off. You guys did good. Now me and my specters will finish the job. We'll kill Nix and burn his dominion to the ground. Overthrowing Mengsk is just the start. This is about building a better tomorrow. Don't you see? We just released every scientist, philosopher, and free thinker that ever challenged Mengsk's rule. That was our real victory today. You really that naive. Tomorrow there'll be a new Mengsk, and another one after that. Great shining dream of the future is just an illusion. So if it's all so bleak, why are you here, Tosh? What do you get out of all this? Same thing as you, brother. I don't quit till Minsk is dead. Vengeance doesn't factor into this. Our revolution's about freedom. You'll see that better future, Matt. But it ain't for the likes of us. Transmission coming in. It's Tosh. Didn't take long for him to gloat. Patch him through. You gotta be for that man. Is that supposed to be me? You gotta be great crossing me. Scumbag, Tosh. I've spent my whole life fighting men like you. Ha, you and me, we're just the same. We'd both do anything to get the job done. No, you don't get it at all. And now, you never will. What you gonna do, man? I'm six light years away. Not me. someone I used to know. Glad you're not after me. Not today, anyway. I'll see you around, Jim. Don't you ever meet any normal girls? This is 
Kerrigan. We've neutralized the Protoss, but there's a wave of Zerg advancing on this position. We need immediate evac. Belay that order. We're moving out. What? You're not just gonna leave us! All ships, prepare to move away from Tarsonis on my mark. that evac? Damn you, Arcturus. Don't do this. It's done. Helmsman, signal the fleet and take us out of orbit. Now. Commander. Kim? What the hell's going on up there? I've been cleaning up after you a lot lately. Leave it alone, Matt. Same dream? I said, leave it alone. What happened to Kerrigan wasn't your fault. Which part? Was she got left behind? Or was she murdered eight billion people? Same old bullshit. You ain't gonna listen. See what you're becoming? We are who we choose to be, Matt. When you figure it out, let us know. We're waiting on you. the rendezvous coordinates. No contacts. Looks like the Mobius ship hasn't arrived yet. That's strange. It ain't like them to be late. Sir, Dominion ships warping in. Manx's flagship is leading them. Sweet mother of mercy. Sir, their shields are still down. I don't like this. Matt, pull us alongside and prep docking tubes. Commander, this is not a smart move. You wanted your revolution, kid. Now you got it.
turn around, Arcturus. I want you to see this coming. You won't find my father here, Commander. I am Valerian Mengsk, and I own the Mobius Foundation. Through them, I own you as well. Tell me why I shouldn't kill you right now. Because I can offer you what you've always wanted. A chance to rescue Sarah Kerrigan. These shocking revelations, a veritable firestorm of anti-Mengsk sentiment. The Emperor held a news conference earlier today. How do you respond to these allegations of genocide? Abusing aliens to... I assure you, these slanderous attacks against the throne are baseless and irresponsible. Sir, do you still stand by the sentiment that selfless devotion to the people is the basis of your rule? Well, of course. I was called upon to serve the greater interest of humanity. Personal power was never my goal. Then how would you characterize this statement? I will not be stopped. Not by you or the Confederates or the Protoss or anyone. I will rule this sector or see it burnt to ashes around me. Uh, I won't stand for this. You jackals think you can come in here and question me? This interview is over. You know, I love seeing him squirm. But the Dominion's just gonna spin this like they do everything else. Not this time. Manx used the media as a weapon for years, and now we've turned it against him. One broadcast. You want us a bigger victory than a hundred battles. I guess you're right. Well, it's what we started this revolution for in the first place. We've got a long way to go. Maybe we started something here. Hearts and minds, Matt. Just like you always said. You know, Matt, someday you're gonna wind up leading this bunch of misfits. Oh, no. That's what I keep you around for, sir. Rainer sold us out. I joined this outfit to fight the Dominion, not work for him. Everybody simmer down. We trusted the commander before. We should trust him now. You can't trust that drunk. Jim Rainer's nothing but a spineless coward. You've been nothing but poison since you got on this crate. That right. Pathetic. Only person you can trust is yourself. The sooner you peons figure that Heard out. Heard about enough of this. You got them all fooled, don't you, Jimmy? But the first sign of trouble, you'll just duck and run. It's what you do, ain't it? Me, them, that pretty little girlfriend of yours. something you're gonna regret, Titus.
think he's right? I'm just gonna run out on you? You got us working for the Dominion now, Commander. Taking us back to Char. It's like you're gone already. This ain't about the Dominion. Our war has always been about saving lives. If the Zerg wipe everyone out, it's all been for nothing. So I'm going back to Char. If you're with me, it's your choice. Just like it's always been. Now that's the commander I've been waiting on. Satisfied? <laughs> Let's get back to work, boys. I don't want to have to have this conversation again. And fix my damn jukebox. Uh, a little help here? Anybody? I shall embrace it 
at last. The prophecy is uncertain. There is always hope. Zerg, General. They ain't gonna fit into your nice, clean timetable. I've led five separate invasions against the Swarm. I held the line while you and your terrorist friends hid under a rock. We're all aware of your victories, General. I've invited Commander Raynor here to assist us with any unforeseen contingencies. Well, it sounds like you got it all figured out, Junior. I have far too much invested in this undertaking to see it fail. Speaking of which, you might particularly enjoy this next step. Valeri! I've just received a report you've taken half the fleet. You care to explain yourself, boy? Father, I am about to accomplish that which you never could. Today, I will defeat the Queen of Blades and secure peace throughout the Dominion. By this act, the people will finally know that I am a worthy successor to you. I love your gumption, son, but you're in way over your head. What makes you think you have the experience here? You ain't alone, Arcturus. Reyna. I don't know what gutter my son fished you out of, but even you've got to realize that treacherous bitch cannot be saved. Neither can you. We'll see about that. And when this is over, you and me got a score to settle. <laughs> Everything I could have hoped for. You're playing a dangerous game here, kid. Prince Valeria, we have Zerg attack waves incoming. Already? We came as fast as we could. Ain't no time to be lying down on the job, General. You magnificent son of a bitch. <laughs> You're the last man I expected to see. Boys, I hate to interrupt, but uh, 
The natives are getting restless. Thanks for the rescue. But I hope it ain't just the two of you. General, you know I've always got a card to play. You might be a damn pirate, Raynor, but whatever happens, you saved my boys today. And I won't forget that. All in a day's work, General. Good to see you on your feet, General. <laughs> well, we'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> I brought you boys a present. Naga artifacts have been assembled. I hope to God it does what we think it does. Damn straight. Betting our asses on some alien piece of crap don't sit right with me. I hear you, Tychus. But if I was banking everything on that, I'd be quit already. Because here we are in the mouth of hell. And we made it this far by leaning on each other. <laughs> Whether it's blind luck or damn fool courage, in all my years, I've never seen anything like what you two jokers have pulled off. That thing may be the key to stopping the Queen of Blades. But it's our sweat and blood that'll make it happen. After everything we've been through, past all the fire and fury, the one thing I know is that we can count on each other to get the job done. Or die trying, if that's what it takes. Some things are just worth fighting for.
Sarah. You reading all this? You have your orders, Mr. Findlay. Carry them out. Titus, what have you done? I made a deal with the devil, Jimmy. She dies. I go free. We all got our choices to make. Damn shame. It's okay. I got gotcha. you. Orders, sir. No visit. Open the door. Getting out of here tonight, darling. Good. Then we can go after Mengsk. Forget Mengsk. Forget all of it. This is about you and me. Until Mengsk is dead, there can't be a you and me. I moved heaven and earth to bring you back, Sarah. I can't watch you throw that away just for revenge. Initiating test phase two. I never gave up on you, Sarah. Don't you give up on us!
Test phase two, commencing. You made a mess down there, Sarah. Starting to regret bringing me back? <laughs> Never. I heard about what happened with your friend Tychus. I'm sorry. He made his choice. I made mine. Maybe you should have let him kill me. I slaughtered millions as the Queen of Blades. That wasn't you, Sarah. Leave the past behind, and let's focus on getting out of here. I'll suit up, and meet you here in an hour. Okay. That sounds good. Wait. This is Nova. Begin your sweep. Find Kerrigan. Bravo team, acknowledge. Hostiles inside the perimeter. Scramble attack response squads three through nine. Hull breach, frame seven, deck three. Defensive maneuver delta four. Prep all stations for jump. No one is going anywhere until I see Jim. Shields at 30. Failure imminent. Dominion fleet, this is Hyperion. Cease fire. Crown Prince Valerian is aboard. My father will sacrifice any piece on the chessboard to take the queen. We have to 
jump now. We'll lead them away and circle back for Jim. Decompress Sarah! We need to work together! Do what you want. I'm going to find Jim. Jim, are you on this frequency? Jim, are you out there? I'm at the rendezvous. It's all clear here. I've been thinking about what you said. There's something dark in me, Jim. I need you. I need you to hear me right now. Jim Rayner was captured in a daring raid yesterday. He was briefly interrogated and summarily executed. Emperor Mengsk had this to say. Proud Dominion citizens, at long last our nightmare is over. The lawless terrorist James Rayner is dead. With his death comes a new era of peace. The Protoss have retreated from our dominion, and the Zerg threat has been removed. Their swarm is shattered and leaderless. Soon, we will eradicate every last Zerg on Char. In short, we have won. Our peace and security is assured. Good night, my faithful subjects. Mengsk. Navigation online. Destination, Zerg space. Confirm. Confirmed. That's why I'm here. They'll either accept me as their queen, or I'll start killing them one by one until they do. What are you? I am Isha. Your Majesty used to store all her ideas, thoughts, and plans within me. Do you not remember? Yes, I do remember you. More importantly, you remember me. You are the Queen of Blades. I obey. Perfect. Summon the Swarm and prepare to move on Core Hall. The Swarm is in disarray and will not answer your call. Most Zerg on Calder are under the command of Broodmother Nefash. She seeks to create her own swarm. While she lives, the swarm will be divided. Not for long it won't. Take us down to the surface. We captured a prisoner in the wastes and subdued her, my queen. She says she is a researcher. 
I didn't order you to take prisoners. Abatha requested it. He wants to dissect her. What's the point? He won't be able to use Protoss genetic material. He likes to try. What are your people doing here? We study this moon to see if its rotation can be altered, its climate improved. Do you understand? We are only colonists, and you are killing us. Yes. And if I let you live, you'll call your Golden Armada and they will kill me. Kill thousands to save yourself. Is that how you justify this? I justify nothing. There is no moral high ground here. Your people have killed billions of Zerg. We are all covered in blood. There may be more on my hands than yours, but in the end we are both killers. Then you need only await the Golden Armada. Your death will be swift. I'm sorry. For what? Slaughtering my people? For what I must do to you. Your friends on that ship can sense you. They know they left one behind. No. But they can't warp you to their ship, because I'm blocking them. No! No! But if I drop the veil... Do not warp me in, Templar! Do not! You let the other Protoss take her? She will be their death. Zagara is here to serve your will. Tell me, Zagara, how would you drive the Terrans from this world? I would obliterate their fortress on the Dauntless Plateau. But the only way to reach it is through the Bone Trench. Be warned, the Terrans flooded our tunnels with lava. We will be exposed on the surface until we reach the Plateau. That doesn't concern me. Warfield has no idea what he's up against. But what of the Zelnaga artifact? Could the Terrans still possess it? They might, but I know it's not here on Char. It's no threat to us. <coughs> Do 
Lieutenant, get the wounded to those shuttles. They're almost there. Should I send a team to get you? I'm fine, Lieutenant. Just see to those wounded. <laughs> uh, I'll get out another way. <laughs> with men too injured to ever be a threat to you. <laughs> Husbands, fathers, you let those shuttles go. You hear me? <laughs> General, we're surrounded. There's no way out. You bitch. You're not even human anymore. You betrayed us all. <laughs> For what? Petty revenge? How many innocents have you killed? How many more have to die? What if Raina could see you right now? called you here. My need to see Menk's dead called me here. These Zerg will help me destroy Korhal. You must let Zerus remake you, Kerrigan. The final war nears, and there is little time. I don't have to do a damn thing. I will not be a pawn in your prophecies. But you will do anything to have your revenge. Anything. Then that is enough. Why are you helping me, Zeratul? You have more cause to hate me than most. The Zelnaga wish you restored as the leader of the Swarm. You know I don't believe in your mad prophecies. Your belief is not required. I act for the greater good, though it earns me the hatred of my own people. Spare me your self-pity, Zeratul. Everyone has to make peace with their own choices. I made my peace long ago. When we are done here, I will return to my people and accept their judgment. We all have to pay for our actions someday. I guess your day is almost here. I sense something. An ancient consciousness. Sleeping. Mm. The Ancient One. A primal Zerg who witnessed the creation of the Overmind. You want me to awaken it? Don't you? If you truly seek the power of Zerus, you will need the Ancient One. My Queen, enemy primals are massing nearby. They are going to attack us. They wish to stop you from speaking with the Ancient One. What will you do? What my enemies fear most. Always. You are on the path, and no longer need my guidance. You will not see me again, Kerrigan. You have questions. The Primal Zerg say the Swarm is corrupted. What did the fallen Zelnaga Aemon do to us? He desired our strength. 
the ability to steal essence. But we were independent. We would not follow. And so he bound the Zerg to a single overriding will. They lost their identity and became his slaves. The hive mind. That's Amon's corruption? It is. And a terrible fate for a strong primal Zerg. My queen, why did we wake the Ancient One? Its power outstrips even yours. The Ancient One is key to unlocking the power of Zerus. And I need that knowledge. Will it not destroy us? It's called a gamble. It's something Terrans do when their instincts tell them the time is right. I see. Just as when the Terran James Rayner came to Char to return you to your original form. Yes. Just like that. The thing about gambles, Isha, is that sometimes you lose. What is a primal Zerg doing on my Leviathan? I am Dehaka, one who collects. I kill. I take essence. Now I come to you because I feel your change. All Zerus feels it. All Zerus fears it. And you. But you don't fear me, do you, Dahaka? You shine. You will bring more essence, and I will follow. When you do not, I will not. Well, I forged alliances on shakier ground than that. Very well, you can stay. Betray me and I'll collect your essence. Yes. If I can rip worlds apart. And are you the equal of Amon, who once controlled you? He never controlled me. I felt an influence. A trace of something dark but long gone. Amon must have died before I was infested. I hope it is so. For he truly could rip worlds apart. Genetic strands different, restructured from base level up, stronger than Queen of Blades, sequences complex but clean, completely different at core. Yes, I am different. I am my own master. When the Zelnaga artifact made me human again, it cleansed me of Amon's influence. And that allowed me to become something greater. Must take sample. Study new sequences. Don't even try, Abathur. What I am now is beyond your comprehension. Difficult to admit. New structure beyond understanding. 
will return to work. The Terrans launched thousands of these devices at our broods on Char. Broodmother Kalisa relayed this to us. It is not a weapon. It's a two-way communicator. The Queen of Blades. I knew you'd return to your true form. A monster. Now, you'll do exactly as I tell you if you care at all about Jim Rayner. <laughs> yes. He's alive. So you'll keep your swarm away from Korhal and away from me, or he dies. That man sacrificed everything to give you back your humanity, and you threw it away. <laughs> oh, he must be disgusted by you. Why? He'd be first in line to kill you. I can't sense Jim out there. If he is alive, nothing in this universe will stop me from finding him. Valerian, we're picking up some kind of reading. Warning. Psionic waveform detected. Scale. Unclassifiable. Kerrigan. What happened to you? How? There's no time. Listen carefully. Jim is alive and I can't find him. But you can. Hack the Dominion network and figure out where they're holding him. How can we trust her? Valerian. If there's even a chance that Jim is alive, I'm going after him. Hacking the Dominion security network will prove difficult. Only one man can hack that network. Colonel Orlin. And he's being held prisoner by... Mira Han. The mercenary leader. Isn't she a friend of yours? Not exactly. It's complicated. Let's just get this done. Find him, Matt. We both owe it to him. Mira Han, this is Prince Valerian. Do you read me? Of course I do, Princess. I know you're working with Matthew. Put him on, please. You forget yourself, mercenary. Hello, Mira. Matthew! You never write, you never call. It's almost like you don't care. I'm here to ask for your help. You've got Colonel Orlin and we need him. He's the only man who can hack the Dominion's deep encryption network. Well, I'd love to help. I just need the permission of James Raynor. Jim's not here right now. Oh, oh, dear. Then I'm afraid I cannot give you Colonel Orlan. Look, Mira. We need Orlan to rescue Jim. Just hand him over. A mercenary's reputation is all that she has, darling. I will not relinquish my prisoner to anyone but the client. Not even to someone with your devilish good looks and brooding intensity. Sorry. Stop! Stop! You win, Matthew. You've destroyed my base and captured my heart, all over again. She is very strange. Please, can we just take Colonel Orlin and go, right now? I'm sending that disreputable fellow to you in a shuttle. You people are all crazy. Why would I help you? We could send you back to Mirahan. Tell me what you need. I must rebuild Mira's Marauders thanks to you, Matthew. But I will see you again. Not too soon, I hope. And I thought Dominion politics were vicious. Have you found anything? Colonel Orlin is hacking into the Dominion net right now. Tell him he's got one hour. I won't do that, Kerrigan. You're already in over your head. Don't make it worse. If the Dominion sense our intrusion, they'll move Jim or kill him. I am not going to risk failure because you are impatient. So save your threats. You've done some growing up since you, Moja. Zerg are not the only ones who adapt. Very well. I will wait for your expert to do his work. Kerrigan. We found him. Where? 
He's being held on the Moros, a mobile prison ship that jumps every hour to a randomized set of coordinates. There's no way to predict where it will jump next. They've got to resupply sometime. Exactly. We know the ship will be at the Atlas station for 32 minutes tomorrow. Atlas will send a tanker out to the Moros, but when the fueling's done, it's gone. Our associate Tosh volunteered to infiltrate. No, you've done your part. I'll handle this myself. Be careful, Kerrigan. This place makes New Folsom look like a nursery. to the millions you butchered. You swore you'd kill the Queen of Blades. You were the only one who ever believed in me. Do you still believe in me? Jim is doing well. He's in the med bay, but I don't think he wants to talk to anybody. I'm here to talk to you, Valerian. You understand that I'm going to Core Hall soon? I do. You plan to kill my father. He's had this coming for a long time. I need to know where you stand. I stand for my people. I've accepted that my father is beyond redemption, and must be removed from power. I'm glad we understand each other. My queen, the infested Terran who contacted you waits over there. He claims to know you. Who are you? You do not recognize me? I am Alexis Tokov. We were enemies once. Well, we both seem to be Zerg now. Indeed, and we share a common goal, the destruction of this facility. It is here that Manx breeds the hybrid. Combining Protoss and Zerg DNA to create monstrous creatures of immense power. Then we'll destroy this facility together. Face me, Rude. It's over. It is only beginning. Amon whispered of this from the stars. He told you of his return. He told you of ruin, extinction, the end of all things. Your god is dead, and he's never coming back. Is that what you think?
You are not him! You are nothing! I am everything you lost. My queen, can you hear me? I am... alive. Barely. We dragged you back to the Leviathan. Rest now. I will control the swarm until you are healed. Why... aren't you... trying to... Take the swarm for my own? Because I still have much to learn from you, my queen. Enough. She is healing, but she must rest now. Isha, take the Leviathan up. We're leaving. Kerrigan, you saw something in that lab. In Narud's mind. I saw Amon. Older than the universe, more powerful than I can understand. And now he's alive again. Then he shall fall before the swarm, like all the rest. We don't even know where he is. We must prepare for his coming, but I have a few scores to settle first. I'm going to Core Hall. It's time. Why are you telling us this, Kerrigan? There will be ruin, destruction, millions can die amid the chaos. Valerian. Your people will need a leader. You're right, Kerrigan. They will. If I'm to be that leader, I'll ask only one thing of you. Bring your swarm down outside the city. That will give us time to evacuate. Korhal is going to be the most difficult battle of my life. And you're asking me to make it harder. I am. I was wrong about you, Valerian. You're not like your father. I'll give you your chance. Make the most of it. Dominion forces, this is your Emperor, Arcturus Minsk. Korhal is under attack by the Zerg Swarm. Our special weapons lab has been destroyed. Our defenses stripped. Any fleet that can hear my voice, return to Korhal. The seat of human power is under assault. Come, men. Defend your home. Trapped like a rat in a cage, aren't you, Arcturus? Your revenge is close now. Nothing can stop it. Don't underestimate Minsk. He is by far the most cunning enemy we've ever faced. If I should fall, you must take the swarm from Core Hall. Flee? This is not the way of the Zerg. Yet it is my will. You will obey my command, and take the swarm to seek our true enemy. Find Amon. Destroy him before he can enslave the swarm again. As you command. Kerrigan, look at what you have wrought. Thousands dead, all for your revenge. Their blood is on your hands, Arcturus. You made every part of this happen. I have done great and terrible things, it is true. And I would again, to protect humanity from monsters like you. You use words like weapons, Arcturus, but words cannot save you now. Oh, oh, I have other weapons. I just wanted to say goodbye, Kerrigan. Our outlying rooms are being eradicated. The Terrans have deployed a side destroyer. It corrupts our own hive mind, 
ripping us apart from the inside. The field will quickly kill any Zerg who enters it. Understood. Listen to me, all of you. The Dominion will launch an assault in a moment. A diversion. To keep us from dealing with the Psy Destroyer. Yes, and we're going to let them think we're diverted. Zagara, you have the swarm. Hold the metal. Stukov, take a force and screen her flanks. And Dahaka, this is your moment. The device uses this Psy connection you share. But I do not have a Psy connection. I will not need it. Exactly. Gather your pack. In one hour, either Arcturus Minx will be dead, or I will. If I'm still alive, I will set out to find Amon. The Fallen Zalaga are being of unknowable power. There's no way we can win. Then why fight? Because the only other option is to lie down and die. Well, I never wanted to die lying down. So, fight a god to the bitter end? That sounds like a worthy death. I am with you. Whatever comes, I am ready, my queen. Even if we fall and die in this battle, we've already done the impossible. We've shattered the power of Minsk. It will be up to the Terrans to make something of the opportunity. That means nothing to the future of the Swarm. True. But there are still brood mothers in orbit with their Leviathans. The Swarm will continue, no matter what. And it will be changed. Forever. The Northeast Sector is clear. We're behind in the Eastern Corridor. It's time, Valerian. The evacuation is still underway. I can't afford to hold back any longer. Promise me you'll avoid civilian centers. I can't do that. Arcturus would see that pattern in my movements and use it against me. Then millions will die. All right. Just stay out of my way, and I'll do what I can. you haven't tried to escape. Escape? <laughs> My dear, I'm afraid you've got it all wrong. Did you think I'd keep an animal like you close to me without some kind of insurance policy? Clearly, you are my greatest failure. Now, at long last, you will die. Change of plans.
You can never suffer enough for all the lives you ruined, Arcturus. I made you into a monster, Kerrigan. You made us all into monsters. Thank you, Jim. For everything. My pleasure, darling. Vengeance shall be mine. 